Welcome back to our series on cracking the coding interview. Um, today we're going to be solving a problem called return k kate <laughs> to last. Okay, feel free to pause the video just to read through what this problem is asking for. But I find examples a lot more descriptive than actually reading the problem. Okay, so bear with me. We're going to go through an example. So given a list like this, a linked list, okay, where this is the head and this is the rest of the linked. And we're also going to be given some number k. So in this case, so let's say k equals, um, I guess we can say k equals two so we're also giving k equals two all right let me move him away from me because we're gonna need this speak for given this we're also giving k equals two so meaning we want to return the second element from the end okay second to last element which obviously happens to be six right index three keep in mind linked lists usually don't have the concept of indices but i feel like it makes the explanation easier if we have this indices right here so that's why we'll dump link list really doesn't use them okay so we want to return the second to the last which happens to be the value of six index three so how do we want to do it okay the second hint talks about the size okay this is what we're going to take advantage of we're going to try to implement find the size first and then maybe if we can find the length of this linked list then we can be able to calculate it so just watch how we do so the first step like i said is find the length okay so we're going to find length and how are we going to do it right we're going to initialize it a variable let's say we're calling current to the head of the list and then we're going to iterate through the linked list okay something like wow so this is pseudo code right here while curves i mean as long as curve doesn't have a value of none we're just going to increment a variable called count plus plus so initially count is going to be initially count is going to probably initialize to zero right then we're going to increment him and then we're also going to move curve along it's going to be equal to curve dot next so meaning and the first iteration count is going to be one then we're going to move curve to the next guy and then so since we moved into the next guy the next iteration count is gonna move up to two and on and on right but again this is just so the code um, you can picture what happens and we're gonna actually um, write the code and show you guys what actually happens right let's go ahead and wipe out curve so we're gonna do this till the end right and then in the end of this while loop we're just gonna return obviously we're just gonna return the length which is gonna be equals to whatever value count has and for this exact example it's five right because we have five elements in this linked list so once we're done getting the length of the linked list we're then gonna go on and actually implement the actual algorithm to find the kate to the last guy and this is just pretty straightforward so let's just try it find kate to last and how do we want to do this what's the algorithm to implement it again while cur again this is pseudo code for whiteboard so while cur we're gonna this is the actual main part of this code if index where index is a variable that's gonna start from zero just kind of like count did okay he's gonna start from zero when cur is on this first guy and as we increment curve, we increment index. So if index happens to be equal to the length, keep in mind, we have the length from this function right here. It calls to this function is going to give us the length minus K. So in this example, okay, our length is five. K is two. Okay. So five minus two is index three. So meaning our second to the last element happens to be index three, just like we said earlier, a value of six. So yeah, so that's what our if statement is going to say. If, the, if our index happens to be equal to k, um, length minus k, we're just going to return value of whatever node we're currently on. Else, if not, we're just going to increment index and also move our current variable. Then by the time we're done with this loop, we are Obviously, we might not even get to the end, right? Once we get to the element where this if statement equals, we return and that's it. We could also, just in case, um, there's always going to be an index. So there's no need for a check for, hey, what if they give us a weird number? We're going to ignore it. Say if it's a five element and they give us seven, right? Or we, we, we can say if we, if we get out of this loop, we can say return none. So that way, if they give us like a index that's out of range, we just return none. Without further ado, let's go ahead and code it up. So I went ahead and created the node class, which is the building block of our linked list. Let me go ahead and make this full screen also. Node class, then also our linked list class and define our linked list and created the head of our linked list is, is, is a value of zero. Created an append function so we can add to our linked list and a display function so we can visualize and see our linked list. So these are the two functions we're gonna edit. We're gonna edit length, that's gonna give us length of our function. And we're also gonna edit the actual function that calculates what we want okay just like we said on the white paper or on the black paper in the case i guess so the first step length how do we want to find the length okay so we're going to initialize our curve okay he's just we just set him to equal to the head 
but also remember we're gonna need a count variable. Okay, let's initialize him to zero, obviously. And he's gonna count. So while current node we're on is not none, right? Well, we have a current node. We're gonna increment count. And once we increment count, we're gonna set cur to move to the next node. Then once we do this, in the end of this while loop, we're gonna return count. I've gone ahead here to create a linked list that gives us all even values from zero to eight, just like the example we had. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this length function just so we can see what it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this. Let's have a print statement saying the, the length is. Okay, so we just have to call my list the length. Keep in mind that the length function, or in this case, method doesn't take in any inputs, right? Just the self keyword is there. So obviously we have it as five. Let's say we want it from two to 20, from zero to 20. Okay, because remember the head of our length list was set to zero. That's why we have zero in there. Okay, so yeah, so the length is now 10. Okay, so, but let's change it back. Let's change it back to, um, let's do a control Z, Z, okay, to 10, okay. Good. So now we have the length five. Okay. So to find the Kate guy, okay, I'm gonna start with current. As always, current is, current is gonna be equal to self. Dot head. At the same time, I'm also gonna define index to keep track of each index as I iterate through the link with start him off at zero. Okay. Then I'm gonna say while. Wow. Pretty standard, just like we did on the whiteboard. While current. What do we wanna do if it's current? So the if statement. If our index happens to be equal or equal to our length. So we're calling the self.length method we just created, minus k. Okay. If this ever happens to be true, we're just gonna return current value of whatever node we're currently at. However, regardless of if it's true or not, we're gonna increment our index. Okay, and we're also gonna move our current node. So also let's add in the end. So if we go through our while loop and we don't return anything, return none, meaning he's out of range. So now let's go ahead and test our code, okay? Let's, it's k equals four, meaning we want the fourth to the last, okay? So k equals four. So let's go ahead and run it and see what that gives us. It gives us an error. And what does the error say? Object or len, okay, I spelled something wrong. L-E-N-G-G, -G. okay? Let's start with k equals two, second to the last. Let's run it and see. So the second to the last element happens to be six, obviously index three. Let's try the fourth. Fourth to the last, it's probably gonna be two. Okay, two, just like we said. Uh, we don't need to see what the length is. Now let's try the last. What of the actual last element? The last element, the first last, the first to the last, it's gonna be eight. So that's for the video, guys. I hope this was helpful in showing you how to solve this problem. However, I do wanna point out one thing though before we end the video is this problem has a O of n squared runtime. The reason is because this while, well, worst case, say the, the element we're looking for was the last element in the list. It's gonna go n times, right? This while loop is gonna go n times, right? That's n. But as this while loop goes n times, it's calling the self.length function. And guess what? The length function also has a while loop that's gonna go through every node to count how many lengths. And it's calling it in each iteration of this function. So n is calling it n times, so that's B O of n squared, which is not the best is actually terrible. We're gonna have a next video where we solve it in a better runtime and I'll see you in that one.